<laughs> I don't, I generally don't know how to go on stage now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Power Rangers. <laughs> this is so fun. Are you guys staying there for the whole thing? You're welcome. <laughs> That's going on. We have these Power Rangers, but we have some actual Power Rangers who I know you're excited about. What? Yeah, Beck, it's your turn. All right. Clap, come on. Oh, I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're going to say. Come on up, all guys. Oh, they are here. We've been working a very long day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Hello, <laughs> oh, come on. Welcome to the sofa. Um, have we got any more coming with you? They're back. Oh, well, we'll, we'll have a chat. We don't want that. It's Walter. Walter. Oh, oh, hey, Walter. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody know what time it is? It's four minutes. That's what I'm talking about right there. Absolute professional. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I just let them say, that's on me. I just, I feel it's, I love them there. It's just a great photo opportunity for anyone who's pointing a camera, which is most of the audience right now. Uh, I, I said to you backstage, you guys are probably very used to this, but I've never seen so many Power Rangers in one place. Is this just day to day for you guys? It seems to be. I mean, we've been at it for 25 years now. Yeah. So, uh, it's kind of 25 exciting. years? Yeah. What's a 27 really for us? Oh my gosh! 1992. Yeah, I'm only 24 though. That's so weird. <laughs> I know. That's the thing though, when, when you work that hard, you just age backwards. That's, that's how it works. So is it really? Because you guys are my Power Rangers, like definitely the ones I, I like grew up with. So, and I, I'll be honest, I, I, I watched it still. Uh, so like, but like you've always been, been my guys. Like the, the, those first early seasons are the ones that when I think about it, absolutely. And yeah, you've got an absolute legacy, and, and you guys are starting that. It's that how's that feel? It feels amazing. I mean, the, the fact that we uh, we have a show that's been generational, you know, and uh, the fact that you know the parents watched it, your parents watched it with you, and now yeah. you watch it with your kids, and we have fans in 40 countries and of all ages. It's it's so much love. Uh, it, it's so happy. It's, we thank you. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So okay. thank you. Pops you that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I assume that the colours are on purpose right now. <laughs> not they are. It's accidental. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, just, I do wear blue a lot, but not purposely, I would say. <laughs> I wear black a lot. I occasionally wear blue. It looks good on me. Oh, but really? I, I think I, black's my favorite color. I actually wear black a lot, too. I'll wear black tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to still wear black. Yeah, you should do. You should, and you should, you should own it. Like, hey, man. Right? Oh, do you ever get in trouble for wearing like, the wrong colours? Because we were just chatting to a man of lynch from uh, Harry Potter. And she said that she was wearing a green dress today and everyone was going, you're wearing Slytherin colors! <laughs> Do you ever get in trouble if you wear like bright red or bright yellow or bright pink? I don't, I don't think so. I, I, it might be mentioned. Yeah, if I was wearing uh, red, they'd be like, hey, you're not the red ranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, look, yeah, it's all good. Oh, it's, it's actually incredible. Uh, like, like we were just saying though, like, it is, Amazing. I think one of the great things about Comic Con and like what all you guys do is they're not just shows that disappear, they're shows like you say that have such big legacies. Like I told my friend's kids I was meeting Power Rangers this weekend and they're like five and eight years old and they now think I'm the coolest man alive. Like for them that is the biggest thing in the world and it's just like how do you think when you look back at those early series and I'm sure you're, all, you're young guys and you probably feel like you just get paid to, to do what you love. And now, yeah, let me say, 27 years later. Uh, still young guys, still young guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw him coming, I got distracted. Oh, man. Yeah. GQ. Oh, it's great. Take me up, GQ. What's up, buddy? Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, welcome again. Yeah. 
I, he has just ruined the thing. No, we've just said they're in their colours, and then you've come out just a very, very well, well turned there. Green, no, uh, no, just, uh, just gray representing blue. Yeah, oh. Representing the blue. Look, you got that memo, and I told him the shoes I'm wearing. He's wearing the same shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I even got blue socks. Do you, so do you guys see each other? You must see each other all the time, still, like with stuff like this, or do you not see each other? as much as maybe we all think you need. It varies. Uh, David and I live in the same state, so we live in the same city in, in uh, Los Angeles. But everybody else has grown older and, you know, they have families and they move to different places, so yeah. we see each other often at Comic-Cons. So when you see us together, we see us together. We actually got a, oh, we actually got a chance to hang out a lot, so it was, it was a good time. Normally on Fridays, there's Comic-Con. But yesterday we just hung out and uh, you know played shuffleboard and you know me and Dave were a team and Walter was his own team and I mean we won but you know it's kind of a hard game. Get yeah. his luck. Right, well Dave got more points than me. I was just there. Yeah, I got four. All right, fine. <laughs> Who's keeping count though? Oh wow, well, look at this. Ever, we all, we realize we've got a very limited amount of time with you guys, so we, in a, very soon we are going to open the floor to questions, so please be ready for that. But genuinely, like, um, you're going to get obviously all the, the usual ones, like the highlights and stuff like that. Do you, I've got do you, a question. Oh, go on. I want to know, so because obviously, um, Jason, you do a lot of martial arts and stuff, you've, you've continued your stuff online and everything. Was, were you all martial arts specialist when you got the roles? Or? I, uh, I studied martial arts as a child. I was the um, Pee Wee Michigan State Champion. So I, yeah. I studied Ishiru uh, when I was a kid uh, for about four or five years. And, um, but I haven't studied since. But it's still had muscle memory from all my moves. So as time went by on the show, I, my skills got more perfected. So. Yeah. And we had amazing stunt guys. So I learned things from from Jason Frank, from Austin St. John, from some of the stunt guys, they have different many styles, many different styles, and a lot of stuff from everybody, so it's cool. It's amazing. And uh, I was actually a competitive gymnast growing up most of my life, so that's how I, I got it. I actually realized I knew that because my mom used that to get my brother to do gym. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so he went to it for about five years. Yeah, that's Not great. as flexible. No? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, when we auditioned, we had to have some kind of a physical ability, whether it be martial arts, dancing, or gymnastics. That was one of the requirements, so we all kind of come from different backgrounds. Yeah, I've been training since I was four, um, and then uh, when I got the role, I auditioned and, and did a you know, heck of a kata, but then when I came to the show, these guys were kind of flipping and doing back handsprings, <laughs> and I was like, oh, Lord. So yeah, these guys helped me out a lot. But I, I really, I know I say this, but I really like the hip hop keto. Because I'm like a, you know, traditional martial artist and I thought it was fun. And nobody does that in the world. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. Austin had his own style. Tui, David, and Amy were, you know, great at gymnastics and putting some kicks and punches and it just looked really good. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, on Ninja Steel and all the other shows, they do not let those guys fight. Oh, really? At a costume. No, they don't fight. Only in costume. Oh, is that just health and safety? Or I, I that... just think it's quicker filming. We had the chance to fight putties and... Woo! You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I, obviously, any any series where you've got big injuries doing all the, the stuff? Or did you all come out quite unscathed? Oh yeah, that wasn't a fight injury though. But uh, Jason, he got an injury on the movie. Is yeah. this like a shot in Sydney as well? Yeah, it was shot in Sydney. Yeah, that's big news down under, I can tell you that. Whoa, you know, I hear that the power just came to Are you Australia. From, are you from Australia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, I mean, I would say in general, none of the actors really got hurt, but our stunt guys, we hurt them, some of us. Not purposely, but on accident. Uh, I know one guy on the movie, he had a nose ring. A piercing and some, I think it was Steve, Cardenas kicked him and it hit him right there and it ripped his no, uh, piercing out. <laughs> 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 you generally can hear the audience go, ooh. That's, that's 
the one that always sticks in my mind the most. At least it wasn't a nipple piercing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Papa. What's that one? Oh. Oh. Uh, no, in the Power Ranger movie, when the, uh, you know, the Tengu birds or whatever, it was one bird was coming in landing, and I did this jump spinning sidekick, and it looked like I really knocked the dude out. Yeah, that was pretty real. But I didn't mean to do it. I, when I came to when I came to the show, I had to learn Hollywood Kung Fu. I'll be honest, like I was like, ooh, ooh, and the stunt guy said, "Oh man, lighten up," and I didn't know really how. And then I had to learn to fight like that. So the stunt guy, I was really throwing my kicks, and he's like, "Kick me harder," and I was like, "Ah," and he came down. He's like, "Kick me hard as you can, mate." And I was like, "Okay." So when the bird was supposed to land, it's supposed to land on a line. Well, I committed to the kick, and he kind of overshot where he was. And the kick slipped, full hit him, and he was just knocked out like, and then just came to it, and that actually ends up in the movie. That kick in the movie is the one that was the hard kick that slid up and hit him. Well, I guess he couldn't do another take after that. No, I, I, no, I went up to him. I went up to him. I said, "Was that hard enough, bud?" <laughs> they must be exhausting days as well. Cause acting, just a day of acting, is exhausting. But when it's physical, like so physical as well. I don't know how you get up in the next day. Well, you know, I, I, for me, I, I felt like the physicality of the show is what I most enjoy. I mean, like, I enjoy acting. I mean, of course, acting is, is, is what I love, but when we had to do a fight, that was, like, exciting. It was like, all right, because the thing about it is we didn't have a lot of time. So it's not like we got to, in a movie, you get, like, a couple months or a few weeks to put something together. For us, it was like, come in, let's block it. You got a half hour to figure out what you're going to do. They're going to light the lighting and then we're going to shoot it. And if you make mistakes, it was kept in. So a lot of times you would see us throw a kick and hit somebody and we fall, but we get right back up. You know, like it didn't, it wasn't like perfect. It was like, I fell, I'm up and I'm still biting. And we can still come at you. So it was, uh, it was intense. And as we grew in the show, it got so much better. It was, Get rolling, I love it. Did you guys then have to figure out a lot of the fights yourself? There was like for choreography or was there someone there who had it in their head and they're like, right, this is what we're doing? I think we had freedom at that time to say, hey, we want to do this, we want to do that. A lot more freedom than when I went back to Dino Thunder, put it that way. Oh, really? We went back to Dino Thunder and we had to take a two week stunt class. Two weeks mandatory before we work. I said, man, I already know how to do that. I already know how to do this. Stunt class. And then same thing with Ninja Steel. Like, so yeah, back then was was a lot more freedom, but in Dino Thunder, they're like, you do this, that, I would still be like, nah, man, I, you know, like, okay. You know, so we, had, I think we had, a, and Dave, with gymnastics and stuff, I, I, I think we had a lot of freedom. You know, some stuff was planned, but like the Bow Staff Kata in the movie, that's just my Kata that I teach around the world. And I just did that Bow Staff Kata. And did it 32 takes and whatever. Yeah, well, the, well, my martial arts was hip hop keto. So if that wasn't something that somebody could say, all right, you're going to do this, and then add a dance move or whatever, and that had to be planned by me. We did have uh, a stunt coordinator that would help us with technique on certain things, so, uh, or that would aspire us to do different kicks or different punches. But like you said, we had a lot of freedom. So oh, wow. um, I, I would walk up and say, give me three putties, you know, this guy's going to come here and do this and do it. So, and Jason Frank used to come up to me sometimes and be like, bro, check it out, I think you could do this. Do, do, a, do a jump split kick, but before you land, you're going to get the third guy. And I, and I did it, I was like, pop, pop. I was like, oh. I, I saw that recently, and I was like, that's right, that was a pretty good kick, you know. Nice. I was just saying that to see if he couldn't do it, but he did. I was like, do that. Wow, that was good. But a lot of the people that we've chatted to today have said that they don't really like watching themselves back on stuff. So a lot of people said they don't watch them. How do you guys feel about that? Do, do you go back and uh, watch them with fun? Or? If I did a triple kick in the air, I would watch that every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I haven't looked at, I mean, I don't go back and watch the show. I think fans make videos and they, they edit them together. And if I see that, I'll look at stuff and be like, oh yeah, I did that. And, People send me stuff in my DMs and as far as uh, Instagram and stuff. Right? Yeah. And so I see videos. And, People and send that's videos I, in their DMs. They do. But <laughs> <laughs> about Power Rangers mostly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, so that's when I get to see stuff. 
I'm like, oh, that's right, I forgot I did that. Because I, I don't spend a lot of time watching what I used to do. I like to create what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. nice. Good ethos. Good ethos. So, so you just told me. Uh, well, what I was saying is Dave watches the season all the time. I used to go to his house and eat, and he'd be watching Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. No, uh, I, like Walter, don't, as an actor, don't like to watch myself. But, uh, you know, as he's saying, a lot of you guys make these little clips and send them to us. And so I can tolerate that. But back in the day, we never would sit at home and watch, the t- at least I would uh, sit at home and watch the TV show. What Jason was saying was that he filmed 132 episodes. 132? This guy, I don't even know. He's getting old. 132! 200! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I, I filmed 200, <laughs> but he, did, he was like, 232 episodes and I've watched each 10 times, so that's 2,000 whatever. That he's watched himself. That's not true. He's trying to get back at me. He always does that. <laughs> no, I'll, when I watched the pilot, I wasn't on the show, so I watched the pilot. And these guys were kicking, you know, fall. I don't think Jason was on there. No, so I watched the pilot. I was so excited. I got the role. I was hired for like 10 episodes. I went home, told my brother VHS, because I got the pilot. I popped, popped in the VHS, and I was like, oh, watch this. And he was like, and he knows my brother really well. But he was like, and then it ended. And then, the, you know, whatever, and it turned like, you know, the VCR, and I'm like, what do you think? He's like, that was so stupid. <laughs> and I was like, but he became my brother on the show, Zio. Yeah. Oh, wow. Short-lived on that, but he was my brother. Charming guy, tough guy, I could do this job. I was telling Walter, I could do this job. Hit the mark, real charisma, just hit the mark and go, you're my brother? And we're like, cut. Can you just be yourself, man? He was sweating, so nervous. <laughs> Amazing. Do you guys, like, because, again, you guys uh, have done so, so many episodes. Is there any sort of points that stick with you? Is there anything where you're like, oh man, that was close, or anything like that? Or is it, does it all just bleed into one after a while? I, I don't know. I, I did, uh, I, I left after the first season, so I did the first. 80 episodes or so, and um, yeah, Happy Birthday Zach is one of my favorites. <laughs> but the, I didn't fight much in that one, the fights that we did, uh, I did the episode where I could teach the kids at Bumpino. So I did a, a bit whole kata and, and, and taught them that, and that was, that was a lot of fun, that, that sticks out my mind. But I just know that as the show continued, things got more and more complicated. We started doing stuff like at, a, at the part where we utilizing props, or you utilize the, the swing set, or, or we're like jumping off the jungle gym, and that kind of stuff, and, and that, that was a lot of fun. I mean, I don't know that I have any fights that I remember, just more of the whole episodes. Yeah. Filming the episodes were a lot of fun, so, uh, Power Ranger punks when Billy and Kimberly turn into punks and get really mean at school, that was a lot of fun to film. Uh, there was one called Switching Places when Billy and Kimberly switched personalities. That was a lot of fun, and then we, most of us enjoyed, were you in Food Fight? No? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> most of us enjoyed, uh, I'm not uh, even on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy came in and was like, where's the Green Ranger on the t-shirt? Got it. it is really nice to watch the you just ripping each other. <laughs> it's really <laughs> enjoyable. I'm just telling the truth. If you look at the Power Ranger movie, they got all this stuff. No Green Ranger. I know it's coming probably a couple years, but, uh, but that's how it was. It was the original, you know, they did all this photo shoots, all this merchandising, and I would tell my mom, I'm the Green Ranger, she'd be like, you know, I want to go buy this, but you're not on it, and that was the truth. It was always the five, because the Green Ranger was added later, and then later on, they did all the toys and all that stuff, and now I'm the only one on it. Yeah, and now look at you, we got it all over the place. See? And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Going up the colors. Blue, red, pink. I think that is about the perfect opportunity to throw into the audience because, again, if we don't let them ask questions, they will get angry. Uh, so if you've got a question, get your hand up. Um, whose turn is it, Beth? Is it mine? No, it's yours. Uh, basically, after you guys left the show, the, the internet wasn't so big back then. When was the first time you basically discovered again that the franchise was still like up and kicking? <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, for me, I would say probably 10 years ago. 
So I feel like, you know, we kind of left the show and it sort of, I feel like it died out a little bit, but then suddenly there was this resurgence like 10 years ago. I don't know, maybe you guys just started it. You're in your 20s and 30s now. And it's like, you guys are, yeah, I finally got the money, that's right. <laughs> the, the weird thing about that though, when you say, the weird thing when you say resurgence so it's, it's interesting now that when it first came on, it was on TV and you had to watch it and record it if it was on. Obviously then now, YouTube, everything like that, we can suddenly find all those things we love. Right. And like, it, it's amazing that you really, yeah, those sort of things that, that really stay, people search out, like you guys obviously would have done the same. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, I think when Netflix kicked in, it changed the whole thing because uh, for a long time, Power Rangers was on TV, it was on TV originally Monday through Friday, then it was Monday through Saturday, it was on six days a week, and as time went by, it changed and moved on the seasons, and, but when Netflix came out, all of a sudden everybody could watch it from the beginning till now, and that, I think that, that opened up a whole different form of binge watching, you yeah. know, people were like, you can, apparently it takes, to watch the entire season, it takes a week and four, three and three days to watch every single episode if you watch the back to back. Really? That's a long time. Huge. That's yeah. what they probably like, and a lot of people do, they watch from the very beginning to now, and, and that's a, very, yeah, a lot of originalism, but. It's incredible, but it's like you say, it, we, we all loved it when we were kids, and, and when you get something like Netflix, yeah. I mean, I don't have kids, but as soon as I do, I'm like, and here's all the cartoons you will enjoy. Here's all the kids things you will enjoy. Like, it's, that, it's such a good thing to give to another generation. And, and the messages of them are always so good as well. Like, it, it's got that, that sort of heart to it that, that means you, you can share. That's absolutely what we had in the very beginning as well. Because at that point, in the establishing of the Power Rangers, we, uh, in the beginning, the very beginning, when we bought the putties, we could do head hits. So we would kick into the face, you know, like, and all of a sudden, then all of a sudden they said, oh, it's too violent. So we had to cut back. So then we could only get to the, the chest and do body bows. And, and then what they did at that point is they made sure that every, every message and every script was important. So it was always about something positive. And then we had PSA. They talked about bullying and about staying away from drugs and littering and saving the world. So I think, yeah, that positivity was definitely more prevalent in the, in the original series. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, hands up. We'll come. Yeah. They're always wearing a uniform. Every time they have Good to see you again. I got a question for all three of you. Um, I'm just wondering if, uh, let's say, of course, everyone knows that JDF already did the Bed in the Sun uh, video. Would uh, you three be up for cooperating together, perhaps, in the future? Yeah, we're, we're we're talking. I'm talking to Aaron. I just talked to him about doing something really nice for the fans. I don't think I can wait for wait for Hasbro or Saban anymore. And he's got some big plans for stuff. Uh, and if it, if I was the producer and if everybody was okay for it, I would do something for your age group. Not you know what I mean. And not R rated, but give you guys something like. I, we were talking the other night. Why don't you all put us in the movie? I don't understand that. You know what I mean? Like uh, just just the one type of thing. And if you notice that, people are like, whoa! People would have freaked out more. And I think people try to kill the uh, you know the, the the real stuff and try to reboot it. But I don't think you can reboot Power Rangers. You all remember us from that and from the original. So we're talking about that. But uh, but yeah, I mean with Bat and Sun, it's great. I mean, you know, they do a lot of cool stuff. And um, we were know. talking about this earlier, though. There is now that big want not for something to be rebooted but to grow um, as if like that time away something happened between i think everyone would love to see where you guys would be at if like you were given this power when you're younger where you are when you're yeah everyone loves that sort of story i think my character zach would probably be in belgium eating waffles oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. he knows what he's doing doesn't he triple kick a waffle <laughs> <laughs> and that is a slogan I want to see on a t-shirt. Um, the so. thing is, I was going to say, they're all in good shape. Well, you know what I mean? It's not like we're just doing a slow motion shot and like, you know. Uh, so, 
But um, the brand, as far as with Hasbro, I think it's gonna drop the ball a bit because in a year and a half, if a movie comes out, it'll take like a year and a half to do. Like I did Bloodshot. Then these will film Bloodshot, you won't see it until 2020. So there's a gap, which is gonna be like a year and a half, a two year gap of new content. So that's where Batman Sun comes in. Oh, it's another uh, Any more questions? Uh, hands up, please. We got right, yeah. Hi guys, uh, I wonder when you auditioned for the roles, what was the brief that you got? It's quite difficult to explain our audience before seeing it. How was it explained to you? So when we were auditioning, what was what did we get? When what? you're auditioning, did they explain to you how, what pairing this was? It's oh. quite hard to explain to other people. Yeah, I would say in the beginning, we didn't really know. Uh, the show, when we first auditioned for the TV show, it was called Phantoms. It wasn't even called Power Rangers. And then it became Dino Rangers. And then it became Power Rangers. But so, you know, we didn't, I didn't, I can't speak for anybody else, I didn't really understand what I was auditioning for. <laughs> uh, it never said in the original breakdown, like Red Ranger, Blue Ranger. It didn't talk to any of that stuff. Costume characters. Oh, and it's just you're like, what, girl? Yeah. So in the beginning, we just came in and read lines as, a char as the character, but not understanding the superhero aspect of it at all. Uh, and then as the auditions kind of came, came about, we have to start doing more physical stuff. And then when it really came down to the end and we got the roles, that's when they started explaining the costume part. And then I still didn't understand it <laughs> until we, filmed, we started filming it. And then when I saw the first pilot cut, cut together, then I was like, oh. <laughs> I still didn't understand, but I kind of had a better point. <laughs> and just so you know, I still don't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> or why everybody likes it so much, but I'm, thank you. Well, if you've got about a week and a half, you can binge it on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave had the hardest lines. Oh, yeah. The hardest lines. Oh, you know, I mean, he had the hardest lines of all time. Yeah, it was, it was so difficult. It was like, but he nailed it, though. Yeah, he like, killed it. Like, oh. I just remember him saying, that is most prodigious. <laughs> Affirmative. Affirmative, yeah. No, my, uh, my favorite is a fully sentient multifunctional automaton. How prodigious. There we go. Still nails it now, doesn't he? He said that like a man who had to learn that so <laughs> yeah. But you guys have any affir the Affirmative, he has a, a clothing line called the Affirmative Clothing Line. Super cool. Because that's what he was known for to say and it's very smart that people know exactly what it is, but yeah, I see them everywhere I go. I see those shirts, Ranger shirts. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. And they're comfortable. <laughs> nice. Uh, we've probably got time for one or two more questions. So we got someone over there, and then we have some, yeah, we'll, my have to get to come close, but we'll, we'll get through them. Sorry guys, hi again. Um, so you guys were playing people in high school. Um, were you already, like, because I, I was in middle school when, you, when the show was playing, but um, were you guys already out of obvious uh, high school, and was it difficult for you to go, uh, you know, play somebody that was in high school, if you were in college, probably at that time? Uh, actually, I, I was the oldest cast member, and so I was already 26 oh, when I did Power Rangers. So I was out of high school, playing 16, and... Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Can I just say, I've just done the maths, and you look incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the whole audience just went, what? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I, um, it was crazy. I think Austin was the youngest. Austin was actually... 17. 17. So he was the closest to being a real teenager, yeah. In he this was, pilot, he was 18. In the pilot, yeah. He was 18 in the series. But, yeah, so, uh, but I, I played younger characters throughout my own career, so um, I just remember thinking, okay, so this is a high school kid, I have to raise my voice up. So I thought, oh, really? I thought way up here, hey guys, you know, <laughs> like that, and like, so I'd be really young, but. Start just throwing slang in, hey there, dudes. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know. Um, wait, yeah, we, okay, we, well, we hold on, about the voices, so strange you say that, because when I see the Power Rangers, I'm like, oh my God, the way I talk. I had to do with the Lord Draken. There's a part of me and Amy 
look it up and we actually redid the ADR and I was like, how am I gonna sound like I'm 19 again? So I had to do that. What's important to me now is my friendship with all of you. I don't ever want that to change. That's how I sounded. And then, and then one time I did acting and, and Tammy's like, well, you sound like Tommy. And I was like, oh yeah, so <clears throat> the more drafting I wanted to sound like that. So, yeah, guys are right. Yeah, cool. That's great about that. You're all your brothers. Depending on your pitch shift with it, it's really good. Um, yeah, we're getting nods from the side stage, so we, there's a man over there who's had his hand up, but he's very far away, so if you can get close to the stage, that would be great for us. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Someone hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, guys. Thank you for coming to us. I have a question, uh, because you are right here now. But, if you are, what is the show we want to be in, if you have the opportunity to do? It's the classic, if you could be in any show, which would it be? If, yeah. I, I mean, I would like to be on Doctor Who, uh -huh. and I would, I would like to be a doctor. Nice. <laughs> I already am a doctor, Dr. Oliver. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, if I go back in time, my ultimate favorite movie is Donnie Brasco. I love that movie. Oh, nice. I love that movie. But, uh, but I, I don't know. I, I don't watch a lot of television, to be honest at all, uh, except his episodes. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know. I don't have an answer to that one. I think uh, Bloodshot, that Diesel stole my role. That's what it is. <laughs> I think if I was gonna be on a show right now, uh, a show that I currently watch, I would probably want to be on uh, The Walking Dead. Yes, I've still got to catch up on the new one. I'm very excited, but that's a different conversation <laughs> because we are we are out of time, guys. I'm very sorry. I know we could do this all day. So all you've got to do, we've had uh, David Jason and Walters here. So uh, give them a lot of love because yeah. they deserve a lot of love. Okay, stay right there, if you don't mind. Uh, us three are going to come out. We're going to do a panoramic shot. Uh, feel free to get on the sofa and we can stabilize you. So yeah, feel free to grab it on. So this one, you got to freeze. So we're yeah. going to squat down a little bit. Freeze, because if you don't, your head will be chopped off. All right, so you got to freeze. Ready, it's going. Amazing how he's still there for a second. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they're here all weekend. Please go see them. They're, they're just in the other room. One more time, give it up for our Power Rangers. Well, I was going to say something, but I'm speechless. It's an honor <laughs> to be here. I was here last year, and I, we're going to get some Belgian fries. Because they eat French fries. Belgian fries. Belgian fries. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard that. Belgium fries! And, and we'll be at our tables, right in the room, for the next like half hour or so. so Eating make, Belgium fries! Make sure you come see us. <laughs> yeah, we're going to turn the stage around. Um, like I say, we, we're nearly at the end of the day. We have one more incredible DJ set coming up.